The other allegation or theory is known as the theory for moral reformation. The Prophet attributed the Quran to Almighty God because he wanted to reform the people. Now, why should a person lie? Because he wants to reform the people morally. If you want to be truthful, you cannot lie to be truthful. The means should match with the goal. And the Quran says in Surah Anam, chapter number 6, verse number 93, that who can be a more wicked person than a person who invents a lie against Almighty God and says he has received the inspiration when he has not? There were chances that one day, later on, the Prophet would have been exposed and he would be calling himself a wicked person in his own book, if you are the author, no, Billah. God forbid. It's mentioned in Surah Hakka, chapter 69, verse number 44, 45, 46, 47, that if the Prophet was to invent anything in our name, we would surely hold him by his right hand and cut off the very artery of his heart, and no one will be able to save him from our wrath. Allah is linked the Quran that if the Prophet or if any other human being had to invent a lie or a saying in the name of Allah, then Almighty God would have held the Prophet with his right hand and would have cut the very artery of his heart and no one would be able to save him.